Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video and today we got Red Bull Rink and it's the short version of the track and of course this time it's in the wet so you got to be using the racing wet or heavy wet tires whatever you want to call them but just don't use the intermediates you're going to be much much slower in the intermediates and they are very very slippery. So for this uh, track guide I decided to go with the WRX but you can probably go with any four wheel drive car. So just try to avoid any of those MR cars, FF cars, use the four wheel drive car, they are much much better in the rain and much more stable. And of course, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, now starting the lap here and I gotta say I'm not really trail breaking much here. So mostly I'm trail breaking just before the corner and then letting the car coast for a while. So here, 150 meter sign, maybe breaking a little bit earlier than the 150 or later depending on the car you have. But I think it's safe to say most of the time you can break at 150. And if you're using the slipstream here, I would try, um, to be honest, I would kind of suggest uh, breaking like slightly before that 150. But it always depends uh, how much speed you're carrying and of course uh, who are you racing against or if you're going for a move. So here I'm looking at the stage on the left hand side. This is my only reference and here you got to be actually sliding into a corner and keeping the car entered. And when I get, uh, yeah, when I get very close to the curb here, I downshift in the second gear. And or also a very important thing is just try to be as close as possible to the curb, even ride some of some of that curb. Otherwise, you'll just lose so much time. And here, uh, no clear reference for turning in, but it is just immediately turn and wait a bit in that third gear and full throttle out. So don't don't go up in fourth gear, uh, thinking that the car is just gonna slide less. Keep it in third and rev up the car in third gear. It's just gonna give you so much more time. So here, 100 meter sign, or you can see that line down there, uh, breaking in the straight line. And at the 50 meter sign, I always start to turn in. And also, don't use a lot of trail breaking. That's what I said in the intro of this video. A lot of trail breaking will just unsettle the car and you will be, most of the time will be sliding. You want to be sliding a little bit, but not that much. And also, these are my usual braking markers for any other, I mean, any other class when the track is dry. But just try to brake before that, 20, 30 meters before that, and then turn in when you reach those markers. It's very important, very hard track, very short, I gotta say, but it's super easy to make a mistake. Uh, this was in the top 10. So it was a pretty decent lap, I would say. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button. And also, you can check out my store and my coaching in the link down below. It's Digit Gaming Academy, so make sure that you check that out. Thank you for watching, and have a great week. Bye.